Hey guys, Dave here with Dave's Aquatics. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick little video here on my blood parrot. This is Timothy. Uh, we call him Tim the Toolman Taylor. Uh, he's quite the digger. Um, and he's developed these black markings kind of all over his body and his fins. Um, and I wanted to do a quick little video on it because uh, I had been trying to figure out exactly what it was and what to do with him. Uh, now, I my first thought, or the first thing I checked for was checking my water parameters and checked for ammonia. I was worried a little bit about ammonia burns, but that's not what it was. Uh, the ammonia level is zero. Uh, the other thing I was concerned about was black spot disease, which uh, in doing a bunch of research, I really still wasn't sure exactly how to treat, if whether to treat it or just leave it. Uh, and he's the only fish in here with the black spots. Uh, after doing a little bit of research and talking to some fellow fish keepers, uh, I've learned and come to the conclusion that it's actually just a blood parrot thing uh, where they change color or develop these black markings uh, when they're adjusting to their water. Uh, I've double checked and triple checked the pH and uh, all the ammonia, nitrate, and nitrate levels, uh, and everything is looking great. So I am going to simply leave him and uh, just wait for it to fade and let him adjust to what's going on in his new tank. He's newly introduced. We've had him for about a couple weeks now. Um, and he's acting perfectly fine. He's eating well. Uh, so there's nothing out of the ordinary. So it's been about, I think about five days now with the markings since they started developing. Uh, and I'm going to update, uh, and I'll tag on at the end of this video, uh, once they go away and just update a timeline and all that uh, here. So yeah, we're just going to leave him and see how he... How he does. All right, so we're back. It's been a little longer. He's cleared up a little while ago, but uh, Timothy's black spots are now 100% gone. Uh, the process lasted from November 9th to November 19th, so 10 days. Uh, it was not black spot disease. Uh, as originally expected, and uh, that's great news. I did want to share the video because um, if you're having the same problem as me, it's apparently it's a common thing with these blood parrots. And uh, it is either uh, getting used to new water temperatures, water parameters, um, which in this case, I don't believe it was. He had been in the tank for a little bit before they started. It wasn't, if it, if it was, it wasn't an immediate reaction. Um, but another thing that I had read uh, and heard is that it's a possible breeding thing. Uh, so he must have been in breeding mode and looking around and i think that's probably the most accurate during those 10 days uh he was much more aggressive uh, than normal and since the black spots went away the the aggressiveness has subsided and he's been a lot calmer so i do think it's a breeding thing now these guys can't breed uh, as they're man-made but he doesn't know that uh, so we'll keep an eye out for when this happens again and uh, see how he does. And if I find out any other information, I will keep you up to date. But he's looking great, beautiful, got all his color. He's uh, a very healthy fish and he is very happy in this tank. He's definitely the tank boss. Um, and although not as aggressive, still pushes everyone else around. But uh, yeah, so Timothy's doing well. And it's not black spot disease. Blood parrots just... Uh, develop these black markings as a uh, either adjusting to new water parameters or uh or it's breeding time for them so uh there you have it